six of my relatives all live within about a four mile radius of one another. So almost every weekend we at least see one other piece of our extended family and for me that's huge. As close as we are, we're all for competitive with each other. So no matter what we're doing, um, you'll see a competitive side come out within us. He and I stay in pretty much constant contact week to week and he has some great things to say to me along the way and overall his thing is just stay confident and believe that you have the ability to be out there. Greg Romano was my first recruit. I get to Ball State's campus and Dave Jellius, the assistant coach, left me instructions. The first thing I needed to do was get Greg Romano to commit to Ball State University. He was a guy that when he was on the court and I got to see him play, he had a sort of positive arrogance about him when he played that he wasn't going to let anything stand in his way. Back in the early 90s when I was on that team with guys like Todd Reimer, Eddie Faraz, Scott Oath, we brought a lot of passion and a lot of intensity to the court. You know, maybe we didn't have the, the most athletic guys or the, the best true volleyball players in the country, but I'll tell you what, we had the 12 most competitive guys you'll find. You know, if I said that Greg had nothing to do with it, it'd be a lie. Um, he really put it on the map for our family and to really know about this school and know about Joel and everything that comes associated with this program definitely started with him. He was from a family that we knew and, and that made a difference. I think anytime you are recruiting somebody and, and you have a chance to gather more information about them or feel more comfortable about them because you know more about where they come from. I told Joel that during the recruiting process. You know, he said, tell me one thing about Jake. And I said, one thing you're going to find about Jake is he's not afraid of anything. There's no fear of him. He won't back down. And when he walks onto the court, he wants to find who the best player is on the court, and that's who he wants to take on. Court, Levanchi digs it out in the middle to Romano. Left side, Chinisi blocked up front. Levanchi keeps it alive. Romano will go for a kill and get it. Jake Romano in the middle. He'll do that one or two times a set. Cross court. Dug out by Wyler Romano, tried to tip it over and did again. Romano being very effective at the net. Just play to have fun, you know. Obviously, like any sport, there's going to be ups and downs, but for me to be able to take positive energy from as many moments as we can and turn that into something that's really going to benefit us in the long run is huge. You know, the impact he's made on the ball state here in the last three or four weeks as he's taken over the starting role. It's been a really proud moment for myself and the rest of our family. For me, if I didn't like it anymore, I wouldn't play. But that's not the case at all. I love every single day that I get the opportunity to be out there. And just, it's a sport that having come from my family and having the ability to kind of change and make my own path through this sport has been an incredible journey.